morning guys so here i am i'm about to show you guys um my name is spiritually wealthy and i'm going to show you guys how to set up a ticketing system if you guys know what a ticketing system is then you would understand what this is but briefly a ticket system is where you are allowed to add your inventory and make tickets and make like write-ups about them, like what you're doing to the product or what you have done or fixed or where you sent it and who did the work on it and stuff like that. So this is where you would go to Spice Works, you go to join, and then you would add your email address. I'm gonna add my Google here real quick. And you just hit that, you accept and continue. And then you're in. Then you will press continue, you know, become a verified, create and continue account. Oh, you could have added those, but they already clicked up there for you. And voila, you're inside. So that's how you would set up your spice work ticketing system okay now if you wanted to use it and add some inventory you would go to tools and apps go down here to help desk you would scroll down right there and go to launch help desk then you would create your spice work account and then I'm just gonna do that. Da, 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 da. Mm, can't see it. So I'm gonna make a password. Except, and you're not a robot. Next. Then you can save it. And then you would have your company name. And then you would put that in. Launch help. Up uh, domain. Put none.com. Now launch help. Uh, let me see. The custom domain is what you want to add. Okay, got it. Hmm. So be. So, I didn't have to do this, and let's try this again. Yeah, so don't put the at, just leave it. Okay, sorry about that. So you would just put in your username, add it, and then you could always change it. So I will allow it. So, The best way to do it is to probably add the device first. So you would go down to that little thing there. Oh, and you can either join an existing environment or you could create a new one. So like if you're in a job or something like that, your job would get you invited or your school or whatever you're at. They would set up the domain to get you invited, but we're not gonna do that right now. We're just gonna create a new event and we're in. So now, as I said, you would go over here where you wanna add your inventory and click add devices and you will press enter manual. Then you could say the name, oops, sorry, all my information. There, you can just go spiritually wealthy, wealthy and then you don't have to put an ip address the serial number would be wherever your device is so like if you're doing laptops your serial number is usually on the bottom somewhere or you could type in a um code 
and go find your um, serial number. But you guys should know where your um, serial number is. And if you can't find it, I'll set up a number, another video. No, to actually find it. Well, if you guys just give me a second, I can actually do it Hold on. right now. I'm not going to be able to show you guys that right now, but you guys should know what your serial number is, and I'll help you find that later if you don't know. So I'll just put in a bogus serial number, device type, uh, whatever you have. So it could be a backup array, barcode scanner, battery backup, beamer, camera, computer, copier. So whatever you have like a big amount of and you want to put inside of it and keep track of it, this is what this system is for, like keeping track of your stuff, um, then you could actually put it in. So you could say um, it's a laptop, laptop, here we go. And the operating system is Chrome. It operates with Chrome or it uses Windows. The manufacturer is, let's say, Dell. I'm just, you guys, just showing you how to input stuff and you should have, you should know the correct information of your own inventory. So I'm just giving you guys a brief overview. Dell model, you can say it's model Intel. And then the Mac address, you would find that there and you would put that in there, you know whatever it is, okay? Then your location is where you are gonna have your stuff located. So if you're gonna have it at home, you say home, you're gonna have it at work, say the work or what job it is, the name of your job, you say Spice Works. Um, let me say home. Last user was me, owner is, who is the owner? You, owner, the school, who? Me. Are the school organization put their name there, okay? If that's where it's going. In my, I can't spell the organization. Description is usually like what do you? Wherever you, it's on the box or it's written in there. Mine says Dell PHZ and it has a lot. So you would just put your description in there, whatever you want it to be. It could be the description from the laptop, description from wherever, but you could actually find these informations on your own. Okay. So this is how you, you would save it. Okay, let's go back in here. And this is how you could, so I tapped on it and then I would go in here to edit it, right? Press edit at the top. So the description, I'm gonna name this Dell 01. Let's just say that, save. You can name it as you want. So I'm out of it. The device is saved. I changed it. I edited it by clicking on it. I'm gonna show you again and hitting these three little dots right here and clicking edit and it'll let you edit it. And then you just, um, whatever, save and you get out of it, okay? And then you exit out of here. Now to add, so you have different options here, potential duplicates, devices with tickets. So this is how we're going to create a ticket. You go here. And now you want to create a ticket for that device, that inventory device that you just put in. So you can number them, right? So you would say new ticket here. Contact would be whoever it is, I would say spiritually wealthy. Then I would um, have a summary. I 
showed spice work setup. Okay. Then description, I explained how to create an account. And add devices and create a ticket. Ticket. A ticket, right? And create an inventory for the ticket. ticket. Ticket for the inventory. Okay, so the assignee would be me. Okay, the date, May 16th at 7.45 a.m. Okay. Okay, I guess you don't put AM. I'm just going to put seven. You could put AM. I don't know. I guess it was just split. And the priority you set was it high, medium, low? It's a high. You can say whatever you want category, maintenance, hardware, network, other printer, software. I'll say other. This is just a tutorial. And then <clears throat> category, I said it was others. Then we go down, related, add related device. Um, so you wanna put the name in here. That So when you start to put in that name, you go into like the Dell from the ticket, the inventory that you just created. When you start to write Dell from the description, like the how you named it, it will automatically show here. So Dell, and let me show you, let's go back. It was Dell and it was the last known name. So it was, this is all the information that I typed in from the, in, um, from the inventory of the device. This is why you wanna do inventory first because when you come down here and you do related, it will automatically show up for the name and you just click right there and you would press save. And maybe it's on high because it was red, it's on high. So let me, so I'm gonna say, this is how you close a ticket and this is how you open a ticket. You go right here or you go like here and then you, oh, wait, I press close. So now that I got to, um, I get to um, say something like, yes, create, um, you can put your notes here and make it public. I created a Spiceworks tutorial. So oh, I need to get a um, tour, tutorial. So how did guys, I need a, a spelling class. Okay, so that's how you could add notes, right? So you go, I, I created Spice Work tutorial and you can save it, but you wanna close this ticket out. You understand? You can attach files here. If you wanted to, you can attach whatever you want. Um, you could append it, sharing it, can response and stuff like that, but we're just gonna go basic right now. So we're gonna save and close, okay? Cause you wanna close the ticket, save and close. Now you go right back up here, you can see that, you, now you see it says open, you wanna go to close or all, all tickets. So here goes my ticket. It's number three. And you can go in there and click in there. 
and actually see everything down below. So I explain how to create a ticket on an account, add a device in the inventory, priorities high, did it four minutes ago. Um, they tell you what was did, what you did. And you can see show all. And you could um, actually make these responses that you type here, public, private. So you could show people or you could keep them to yourself. And then that's it. So um, you could actually have it reopen. You could have a remote session and you have to do all of this to set it up. So more. You don't want to delete anything. So that's how you make new tickets. And then to look for your ticket, you will go in here as ticket three. Number three, and then you would look for it. And then it pops up. Any ticket you wanted to look at. Ticket number two. And ticket number one. So I only have tickets. So if you look for a ticket that's not there, it will show you that it's not there. Even if you put it in your device inventory and it doesn't show up, then that's where you have to like go back in device inventory and put your device and then the ticket will be able to show up. Okay. And therefore you have another thing that's called software inventory. And you can go in here and you can put all your software in here as well. You download a collection agent and you would put all your software that you wanted in here. You can find it, you could put your contracts and stuff like that. And the connected TV dashboard, these are all other things that are on here that we can explore together. You got cloud help desk, links IP to scanner, connected TV dashboard, monitor availability of your critical devices and apps. Oh, so these are just other options where they're self hope helped. You would use like mainly do all this stuff, but you could just get it right here and um, it, it's right here and it bring you through all the steps, which is more, e which is way easier. So there you guys go. That's how you set it up. Um, that's how you add your tickets and stuff. I could do another device and show you guys one more time of the steps. So you go in. You press the, sec the second button right here, device inventory. You can go add devices, enter data manually, or scan IP ranges. Like that's something you would have to download and all of that. So we would want to use, you're going to say devices with tickets. OK. Um, a device. Tickets. Hmm. So you could go right here, actually, and go in there and create a ticket as well. So I'm going to do it all over because it didn't look like it went in. And a good thing I checked. Um, so summary is I created a tutorial. Description. Detail. Category. Other. Assigned to me. Uh, no. Okay, whatever. Priorities, medium, and then we're just going to say 16. But I mean, if you want to change it, you should be able to change it. I don't understand. I guess it's there, so don't pick those if you don't want them to go. 753. And 
related to this. Now I'll create a ticket. So I'm not sure what's going on here. Okay, guys, there's um. Oh, so guys, I am totally bugging. I was creating a help desk ticket as if I needed something. Because this is asking me to put my email in to actually like ask for help and then we don't need no help. We already have a ticket because if we didn't have a ticket, it wouldn't show up here. Now, the way you find the device inventory is you go into the device that you have. And like I said here, you, you see the description, you would go in the tickets and to find that ticket, you would go like this. They're not open, so you want to say all. Del O one. Okay, guys, it doesn't look like I created a ticket. How did that happen? Okay, so here we go. We're going to create a new ticket. I just did this. Now, let's see. Now it's there. See, devices with tickets, this is it. I guess you got to make sure it was in there because you guys, we just did that and I, I don't know what happened, but we just go back in there and we put it in there and the device is with the ticket now. So that's the device inventory. And here goes the ticket, number four. Let me see what number three is. Because if I made a three, we just want to see. There's no three. There is a four. Now, there we go. See, this is the, the work that I just did. 
you, you could say close and it closed it. Ticket four was closed. Okay. Close. There we go. All right, so there you go. We made sure the ticket was there and we made sure the device was there. It took a little bit of time, but we got it. All right, so like I said, there's a lot of stuff you can go on here and learn. Virtualization, daily challenge, you know, how to's and stuff like that. So connect, monitor, so you could connect your stuff. Oh, you have to add it. So you know what, we're gonna have to wait for this part here. Okay, but at least I showed you how to set it up. If you guys keep following me, I will show you how to explore this a little bit more and we'll do it together. All right. Like, share, subscribe, Spiritual Wealthy Fam, showing you some good stuff here. All right, so you want to go back to your account. Here you go. And then you want to say you can log out, but this is my computer, so I don't need to log out. But that's it. That's how you get there. That's how you do it. You add your stuff. You can add your hair. You can add anything you want there. Anything. Keep organization of all your stuff. Now, if you're at work, that's how you do it. You go in and you put the device in the inventory and stuff like that. And we'll figure all the other parts of this out and stuff like that. Okay. All right. Over and out. Like, share, subscribe.